connected actually <laughs> oh, oh yeah he again we joined that sort okay 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 see now we are learning should assertion sir is okay yeah yeah so you are okay with the mouse over no mouse over yes yes so mouse over is okay and we are going with should assertions no see here no the main thing no uh, chandra uh, see we are launching the application after launching the application we are seeing that uh this element should be visible we are in the can you, can you amazon application Pati, can you please share your screen i'm unable to see okay okay yeah we are able to see yes yes okay see so now uh see normally no in other tools we need to validate no each and everything like if condition and all but here no even we can go with like this see i am not i am not validating uh, see harish actually uh, so chandra uh, so i was telling before no i have captured these elements see these are the elements so these are the links okay a means anchor tag links okay this is the id with id with the space i am doing i am taking sub child or child elements with space totally 30 elements are matching okay but uh, so only we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so but uh, rest all other elements other all, all other elements are hidden elements so here cypress no one advantage we have in cypress so uh, go here so this is the element no i have captured this is the element i have captured and next to that element so within the so if you keep visible no with the semicolon if i if i keep visible see now if i try to execute how it will display see what are the element we are capturing now see this one see it is giving only five elements these are the visible elements as cypress is identifying only visible elements are five okay so this is one advantage so if you want to you can um, please validate repeat no? that. hello can you please repeat ah. what told uh, i'm not ah, uh, see, yeah. okay uh, can you, you can you guys can see me? yeah 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 chandra see now when i captured the element no so even these elements are highlighting and we can see in the ui 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 elements but with this uh, ident i we identified this locator no with the help of css selector huh? by using id it is giving totally 30 elements for us okay but uh, in the ui side we, as a user no we are we are uh, we are a functional testers right so we can do only ui Mm, testing so we can see only these many elements are the visible elements so for that no we no need to go each and everything where the elements are located and all so we can directly copy this element still this is identifying 30 elements so copy this locator whatever we identify no css selector go here and with this matter copy this element i have copied this is the element i have identified mm? so with the parent and the child with the space okay and uh, so this is the element with id i have captured this element space this is the anchor tag this is just tag name and i am giving visible semicolon visible means i am asking to cypress that i need only visible elements maybe it is it is giving 100 or 139 elements i need only visible elements to automate so here we can go with the visible elements see now see i am running this test how many it will show you can we can see it here hmm? see come here and to see visible elements see it is giving only five right and also the five elements are highlighted best seller mobile today deals customer service books but not through manually it is giving nine elements visible elements but through automation cypress identifying only five elements are the visible elements 
okay so this is uh, you, you, we, we, don't, we don't need to go for if condition that much big script we don't need to write so just we can go with if you put a visible no so we can give see five elements are matched these are the five elements okay this is one advantage yeah now we will go with the best seller or mobiles index one we will go with index one what is index one here dot eq index one see now eq means index one means see i am telling line by line okay uh, so index one what is index one mobiles so visible elements are five what is an equal index one mobiles now we will do some should assertions with the uh, this mobiles okay so assertion. see we have two assertion types uh, so should assertion as well as one more is uh, assert assert method so first we will go with the should assertion so this is inbuilt uh, assertions where you now we are working with should assertions no? we will script this test case will say to skip now this file no contains two test cases so if you want if you don't want to execute before test case no dot skip it it will skip the test case now see it will run only should assertions see top one is not uh, executed so you can see this is one symbol not executed see launch amazon application no? we can see right so this is a green tick mark it executed only this test case now so go here mobiles no what is the mobiles uh, which is that element this is a this is the best seller this is the mobiles element okay so now we will validate what are all the possible cases hmm? now what is the inner text for this one dot contains hmm? So normally we will go with the dot. So if the length is more, no, when we are typing dot contains, you, you use contains. What it should contain? Mobiles. See, I am going with the inner text. So this is the inner text validation. See. See it work now. See dot contains mobiles. This test is passed. Uh, this is inner text validation. Okay. Inner text. Inner text validation. Okay. Validation. Next one. You copy the same element now. So this is I, we are working with the mobile tab, okay? Only mobile tab. So equation of one dot. So now what we need to go? So dot. So I told you right. Should assertions hmm? should have text. So uh, go to should. So should assertions means. Normally, other tools know we will write the conditions, right? So here we no need to go with the conditions directly. We can do some validation with the help of should assertion. Assertion is nothing but oh, we are checking like uh, what is actual and what is expected. We can give here only. Okay, should do it. What it, it should have have dot have dot text. We will see have dot text. We will see this mobile song. It has text to mobiles. We will run it. It works or not. See. So these many ways we can automate here only. So first one I have validated with mobiles. Second one I have validated with. See it is giving this element now should have text to mobiles. Right. So this is kind of assertions assertion this is uh, with the text validation hmm? text validation and okay, for this one again copy 
so the, the same element so we are work, we are going with only mobiles and uh, we are we are trying to see multiple ways of uh, doing assertion dot should should contains these many you can use anything see should dot see always these many it will give this many suggestions you can, you can use anything and you can automate it hmm? say one more thing should be b dot this element should be visible to do some testing now before that we, we will check now this element should be visible so this should be priority this should be given on top after visible only we can perform whether this element contains the text mobiles this element have text mobiles like that so should be visible just see assertions okay see this element no this element to be visible it is visible so this see here giving it, it is assert it is doing assert the test is passed it is giving okay if it is comes in the green mark no the test is passed if it comes in the red mark no the test will get failed so actual things we did not enter main main things and all but these are the basic things to do uh, operations no we require these these things okay cy dot should what we can give what is the if it has class no we can go with class or uh, it can go with the b dot enable whether this element is enabled or not we'll see this uh, this will work or not okay this is not working why expected now going to be enabled so it's already enabled no this element is already enabled okay it's it's already enabled but it is not taking okay still we can go with some other assertions so this is the one no? what is the class it has what is the class navigation here right so copy this class hmm? so we are validating it any any validation we can do should have have dot class so just give the class name what is the class it is defined just give this one just check is it working or not so validation we can do in any ways in any way even it is also not taking it should take this case i will see see i the, when i copied no that there was a space that's why it got failed see to have class so this is one assertion so with the should only we can do a lot of assertions but it is not mandatory when you are writing script all these things you can pick any one one thing either you can go with the inner text either you can go with the text validation either you can go with the visible like that so any one 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 is preferable not no we no need to go for each and every assertion okay so this is visible hmm? visible uh, this one is hmm? with as assertion hmm? with the class assertion now go with copy this element dot good so if you press dot no it will go auto suggestions because on top we have written no a reference type equal to save press and also if it has a, a check for different elements we are not writing anything from outside so we are writing everything from here only okay. so we can go with uh, So you can go with the attribute huh? should have what is the attribute name here attribute value right this is the attribute name this is the attribute value so i will take href is the attribute name should have dot huh? have dot 
attribute see edit here uh, attribute comma what i can do what is the href is the attribute name what is the attribute value copy this link no? copy this link just here okay so only we need to copy the attribute value here we have copied this also okay now we'll run this test see see you know we have run attribute to have attribute href with value this is the one so this is passed next to okay so we can we can do like this okay uh, so this so these are the examples we can go with the uh with the shooter sessions so you can whatever you want you can so like that attribute attribute value hmm? attribute assertion so it should do by default we are getting should here so this is how we can go on work okay you, you, do you have any doubt? So you are okay, right? Yeah, and uh, so we can go here. What is this one? Amazon dot in inspect element. So what is this text is there no? Where is this text? Mm. We'll try one one see here no. Okay, see here, we will try to automate the title. We'll try to automate the title and see why dot. See why dot title, no? Title. Title should equals to I'll give Amazon dot in. Okay, Amazon dot in. I'm not seeing what is the text here, but I'm giving like this Amazon dot in. It should work. We will see whether it will work. It is working or not. Okay. Okay. So title now. What is this? Is the application title right? So I'm not able to capture. I think this this element there should be a title element. Then only we can. Title. So title okay, but title no, we will we will we will value it like this. Okay. Title no, we will go with this one. So see why dot for each and every application no 
title what is the title amazon i'm not able to identify the element so it should work i'm giving randomly okay so what is the, the title should be so for this element we have this is the image image we have logo so there is no title element no that's why but you can you can do assertion like this okay cy dot title should we will use should here also this is the way we, we will do it okay uh suppose now uh, just click on the any element now we will click on this element okay in mobile only we'll click it okay click on this element at last now we will click it P. okay see dot i'm clicking on this mobile okay see what will happen so it click on the mobile it it navigated to mobile screen right so under uh, shop by screen all the mobiles are displaying so now immediately if you want to come back if you come back to the previous screen so here now we, what we can do see why dot we don't need to again we don't need to capture the element back backward element and we can so like this here we need to you know so we there is no other option right to come back this is the only option we need to go back so here we can go and see why dot go we will we use double quotes when you press double quotes now see back and forward option will come in so click on back now see after launching the element see it came back now you observed so we are in this page and uh, see i will uh, see here now we can use here pause pause method see why not it will pause the execution till we confirm for a till we resume the execution it will pass the execution so you can see now after clicking now we are in the mobile section after clicking see we are in the mobile section right now so it is a see it is in the pause mode because of see pause it is keep on rotating we need to confirm we need to resume till that time it will be keep on loading so for debugging purpose if you have any doubt whether the screen is moving or not so now if i press back it will come to the back uh, amazon home screen see back now now it, it came back to amazon home screen okay so again you need to go forward after coming back now see why dot go forward see now it will come to it will go to from mobile clicking it will go to mobile screen it will come back to home screen again it will go to mobile screen so i have pause now here now it will come back to home screen again it will go to mobile screen see so this is how it will work huh? so these are the some basic commands but we have completed the should assertion so so if you no need to when you are writing the script you know you no need to use each and every element you can go with contains you can go with have text you can go with be visible you can go with either class either attribute still we have many ways so either in anyone you can use it for validation so uh, the same thing i am telling right every time we no need to write uh, big big conditions this is acceptable in cypress that's why cypress is very simple and people are moving to cypress for the um, even the people non technical people can understand if they know a little bit uh, if they come across a little bit coding no see nothing is there see here no what i am doing after they need to anyone they need to learn how to identify the elements once identifying these elements no then that, that you can play with this uh, scripting see just we are checking uh, this is a single line code i can say this is a single line code see we are capturing the element with whether that element has this this is how we will do testing no see mobiles no when you come to ui testing no click on mobiles see what we'll do navigations we'll check uh, so whether the inner text is correct or not so the alignment is correct or not we'll we'll click here 
we are, we are going to the, this page or not and then we are coming to the back or not huh? so this this is the validation no? we will perform in with other tools also but we need to write length risk too. but uh, in cypress this is acceptable so with a simple way we we have validated see how many ways we have validated like this so uh, a big script we can write within within less code hmm? okay 